In this video, we are going to prove that square root of 3 is an irrational number. Now, let's assume to the contrary that root 3 is actually a rational number. And what that means is that root 3 can be written as a upon b, where a and b, okay, are co-prime, meaning that their highest common factor is 1, right, and b is not equal to 0. So if we can prove that there is actually another factor of a and b in addition to 1, then what that means is that root 3 is an irrational number. Why? Because if it was rational, the only highest common factor they would have had is 1. And to prove that, what we do is we square both the sides. So we do square root of 3 and we do a square root of a upon b. And what we get is 3 is equal to a square upon b square. When we do a cross multiplication, we get 3b square is equal to a square. Or in other words, if I just look at this particular part, what it implies is that a square is actually divisible by 3. Right? Why? Because a square can be written as a multiple of 3 times some square of integers, right? 3 times b square, right? Now, we saw the theorem that if there are any prime numbers, okay, if a is a prime number and it is a dividing some other number, let's say x square, then a also divides x. Here, 3 actually divides a square, right? Which means that a is also divisible by 3. Or we can write A as 3 times multiple of some other number. Let's call this as M. Right? If I put the value of A is equal to 3M in this particular equation, what I get is that 3 times B square is equal to 3 times M square or 9m square is equal to 3b square or b square is simply equal to 3m square right in other words b square is also divisible by 3 because it can be expressed as a multiple of 3 times some number so we've proved that a is divisible by 3 b is divisible by 3 which means that they have the highest common factor of 3 right I mean, it's not only 1 which is there. And if that be the case, then root 3 cannot be rational. Therefore, it implies that root 3 is actually an irrational number. 